Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks for joining me. And we're going to have another little crafty session. So I'm just going to pull my chair in, make myself comfortable. I hope you do too. I hope you're having a good week. We're getting near now, aren't we? Christmas. <laughs> I hope you've got everything ready. I must admit, I, I like leaving a few things to the last minute. I love that sort of Christmassy feel of doing those special cards at the end. So I hope you're on track. Now, last week, if you remember, last Tuesday, we made this design um, using the new sticker stencils. And what I've done since we last visited and we, we had some time together, I've just popped it on some white card and some dark blue card. Now, this sticker stencil, if you remember, was from the new set, which is set two. We've now got three and four and we'll be looking at those um, tomorrow. And in this, we've got the lovely sort of scape, sort of scenescape with the two buildings and the trees that we used last week. We've also got a Christmas tree and two stars. So I thought I'd incorporate them into my journal spread. Now, I've got an idea of, of what to do. And I thought we would have a play together. And what I've actually done is I've had a little play. And as I told you, I often do this in my smaller journal. So I'm using the larger journal. And we are hoping to get these back in stock. These are from Lavinia. The handmade papers in the journals. They're absolutely beautiful. And as soon as we get them back in stock, I will put it in, in the comments on these videos. And um, I record these a couple of weeks in advance. So I will come back as soon as we get them so that you will all see we've got them. Because I know a few of you have asked. And what I tend to do is I use my smaller journal. A, because I understand those of you that have got the smaller journals, you want to know if the designs will work in the smaller journals. But also for me, I use my smaller one almost as a tester. Again, this is the rough one. There is a rough and a smooth, but I like the texture in the rough one. And I just almost practice and have a little play in my smaller ones. Give me an idea of how the paper is going to accept the design into my large one. So that's the sort of thing we're going to go off. And I love these new circular um, positive vibe sentiments, which makes a lovely hanging bauble. So that was my play. That was my idea. And I'm going to put my small journal over there. She says over there, honestly, if you could see my desk, I'm literally piling things on top of each other. Please tell me you're the same. It's not just me. Now, I've got my lovely bookmark in my journal where I've got not many pages left, ladies and gents. We are going through them. And this gives me, and I'm thinking we'll work on this side first with my plan. And I'm going to use this star first. And a little tip, I always take the inny out first, even if I'm going to use the outer one. And do be patient, do be careful when you just, it is worth, especially the first time. And I'm just going to pop that over there. And I'm thinking to have this star, just checking you can see, in this top corner. And we don't want the whole design on. I love it when we have, especially with journaling, we can use part of a design. Don't ever think you have to have the whole design. And what I'll do is I'll keep bringing this in just to see if I put that there, that's enough yet. Yeah. Just to give me an idea, I'm going to use the same colours for my original. I used Della Blue and Dark Denim. So I'm going to start with the Della Blue and then work my way up. See, I can always introduce my Dark Denim. And as we always say, we can add it, but we can't take it away. So we don't want to start too dark. So with my larger stencil brush, I'm going to take some off on my lid. Again, I'm not going to pop it on my mat. It's such a waste or on, on paper. Put it on the lid and then you can pick it up and use it again. I'm from Cumbria in the Lake District. We're very thrifty there. We don't like wasting even ink. And as always, start on the, on the mask and just flick. With this, I do find it easier to just flick my way out. You don't want to go against your stencil. 
Now, again, I know there's rules as to whether these are stencils or masks. In my head, I will end up calling them both. I will warn you now. So if in your head it's purely a mask or purely a stencil and I call it the other, all I can do is apologise. To be honest, when I'm crafting, I call things all sorts of things. I don't know about you. I love doing workshops and you hear ladies say, oh, can you pass me the thing me jig? The thing me bob? And, and you'll see another lady will pass it to her and she'll know exactly what she means. And, and I think we all have our own little... I'd love to do um, a, a book, like an alternative dictionary book for crafting. You know, because I'm dreadful at renaming things. You know what I'm like. But we could have our own speak in there. I mean, I must admit, I use the word chuffed a lot. It's something we use in the Lake District when we're pleased, but we're excited, pleased. We're really, really pleased. And I use it a lot. It just comes out on my videos and my workshops. And it's so lovely to see how it's actually started infiltrating in other crafters' vocab. And it's lovely how you see. It's nice how many of us now have a... a, a cheeky brew and biscuit and and honestly it makes me so happy but i'd love to do like an alternative dictionary think of all the words we could add belt and braces we'd need that wouldn't we so i'm just going to add while i'm talking i do this a lot you know we're going to add a little bit of dark denim with the, the smallest this is number three of the brushes oh look got a lovely bit of dark denim right across my nail it matches anyway, but it's important with this to take it off on the lid because it is dark. It's called dark denim for a reason. And this is, I'm just going to, look, put it on there and then just gently flick, just almost in these, the inner bit of the V here. Just want to see if it will just add a little bit of shade. I mean, as I say, I want this to be quite in the background, but I just think if I can add a little bit, let's just take that off. Yeah, so you see how, if I just move that here, and we'll do that thing, because now I've discovered I can zoom in. So can you see, it just gives that, makes it pop a little bit more. So again, wash them, I just use, um, I'll wipe that later, and I'm just going to use my wet cloth, and then um, my inky binky to dry it. If they lose the tack on the back, and eventually this may happen, um, just use warm soapy water. Don't scrub the back. All the gunk will come off and then let it air dry sticky side up. Dead easy. So, enough talking. Right, so that's going to go there. And then we'll have, yes, I think. But it does need something down here. So I'm thinking... Maybe I could just catch a little bit of that. Yeah, I think that'll just tie it in nicely. Just catch the very top. Are you still, can you see? So, as always, we'll come in with the, the lap. This is where if you talk, you don't want to pick up the wrong brush. Now, I know you're not going to see much of this. But sometimes it's important to have just that little, that little there. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and do this right to the end. And then what I'm thinking is let's just blend a little bit of the blue ink to just sort of, and again, I'm just going to fuzzy the edges. I don't want just bring the whole we want a, a cohesive design as sir tim says and again you see i've pinched that from him that's from his um dictionary isn't it it's lovely how we how we do <laughs> we'll all start talking crafty speak soon won't we have you ever done that have you ever been in a shop and looked at a top say and then you say oh yes i'd love that in dark denim <laughs> and you find yourself talking in ink colors i'm sure you have you probably haven't realised you're doing it. I'm just going to add a little bit of that dark. Lovely. So we'll get rid of that one. We'll put that over to one side. And let's just... Yeah. Just in that background. Lovely. So if we move over to the other side... 
let's check if you can see perfect and my main feature is i want this star so what i'm actually going to do is i'm thinking of putting that there the good thing is because the sticky if i'm not happy with that i'll lift it up in a minute but i want the tree i want to see if i can get on this spread all four you see so i'm thinking if i pop the tree here just a little bit off shot oh look don't tell everyone i've got an eric hair bless him eric i've told you stop malting mate he really is i think i think because we're almost having a bit of a late winter it's been almost so warm for so long he's only just starting to get his winter coat and he's really malting like mad i don't know if any of you with pets have found that right i'm thinking there so again because they're sticky i can keep moving them around i think that'll look nice So let's start with the, the lighter colour and we'll just nicely come in and what I'm doing is when I start, I'm starting on the middle bit and then flicking out and it, it's a great way, you know, if, if you buy a new pack of stencils and you're not sure exactly how and you want to have a play, your journal's a fabulous place to, to have a play. So again, flick out and we'll go all the way around. And while I've got the ink on my brush, let's just bring a little bit to these edges and a little bit along the bottom. And then before we take that one off, let's add the dark colour again, just, just for that extra dimension. Like I said, I don't want it too dark, just want to give it a bit of an extra oomph. Just in the middle there. And then let's take this one off. Oh yes, I like that. And we'll go in with our tree. Now, again, the tree, can you see? Yep, I'm just checking you can see. Again, it's important, flick out because you don't want to catch these, these um, bits. Always be mindful to go with the way that your stencil or your mask is cut. When they are delicate, you don't want to ruin them. So again, I'm being mindful to flick out. And then while I've got that ink on, let's join that colour up there. And then maybe, let's get a little, nearly went in the wrong blue then. <laughs> we'll add a little bit down there. Right, and we're coming with our darker colour now at the base. Let's really add some some shade here ground our tree and do you know what on this side will make it darker because the star is going to be i'm probably overthinking this but the star will be shining light on this side won't it so let's take that off oh yeah i like that so that's what we've got as our background and i think it's such a lovely background now i'm going to put the lids on my ink pad so that was della blue and dark denim put my brushes over there now i want to add just a little bit more shade to these so i'm going to come in with my my van gogh pastel pencils and i'm going to get the dark blue and a yellow and I'm adding yellow. I want to keep it all sorts of blue and white. But I'm thinking, let's add. Sometimes it's nice to have a pop of a contrast colour. I've got my kitchen roll. And I'm not going to overthink this. I'm just very simply, on this edge, I'm going to add a little bit of blue. And all the way down here. And I'm going to do it quite sketchy. So for this half, and I'm coming over into the ink. And then I'll come in with a... You can use your finger, but because I've got a few to do, 
<clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to use um, a biodegradable cotton bud just to smudge. So I wanted to try and stop me getting too much um, pastel on my finger. And then this side, I'm actually going to come in on the white, so I'm not going on the ink, and I'm going to use my yellow. And as I say, this is just on the inside. And then again, I'm just going to smudge that. Smudging just two things, it's pastel, so it'll fix it. You won't need to spray it. We're using so little, but also I love that smudged look. And I just think that adds to the star. So let's go with the tree. Now on the tree, now I've got choices here. I'm going to add yellow this side because I've almost got the yellow from there. So I'm going to come again on the inside and I'm just going to add it's almost just a little bit of highlight and we'll again just smudge that and it's a lovely way to incorporate your other products in this and then with the blue you might not see the blue because I've actually gone quite heavy with the ink on that side but I'm still going to add it and we'll just give it a bit of a smudge Right, and then if we just lift this over. Now this one I'm thinking, so we've got choices here. I'm going to have yellow this side, down this point. And we'll go halfway, look, and then we'll have the blue on this edge. And again, because I have my journal very sketchy, and if you want to do perfect lines, you can. I love sort of the sketchy feel in my journal. But again, because I smudge this colour out, and I love that the paper for this, the paper's so good for this, with it having almost a tooth to it, with it being handmade and textured. And you can bring that yellow in as far as you want. So let's have a look here. We have choices. So I'm thinking we've got the star there. So I'm just going to go down this side with my yellow. And then add a little bit of shade down this side. And that's we've got the shade from that star as well. So that was fortunate, wasn't it? <laughs> So we'll smudge the yellow. Oh, we've not got any on there, have we? We've missed that one off. I bet you were all telling me, weren't you? And then we've got the blue. And for me, I just think it makes it pop that little bit more, adds that little bit more detail. So what I want to do is I'm just going to put my pencils away. It's really important to put my pencils away and I'm trying hard not to rest. So any of you that are doing the journals, it's very tempting, I don't know about you, to actually rest, like put my pencil box on there but if I've got ink or anything on the base of my pencil box it would mark so I'm trying to be good and not rest things on my journal as I use it but it, it's not easy is it now a few little things I've got this lovely um winter magic stamp and I want to add some little words in the background but again I don't want to overcook it and actually, I'm going to take it off the block, I think. And I'm going to use Warm Breeze, first and second generation. But I'm going to use it organically, so that means off the block, just because I, I don't want it specifically all to show up. I just want odd bits. So I can actually just get sort of the middle bit and maybe an edge bit here. And I quite like some over, if I just bring this in. So we just need a little bit there and a little bit there. So 
we may have enough left on this for that. Yeah, that's nice. And then again, let's see. Now, normally when I'm stamping, I put copy paper underneath because obviously I've got lots of inclusions. But this, I quite like, if it doesn't stamp perfectly, I quite like that. So let's see if we can get a little bit across both pages here. And again, it's off the block, so I can push. That's nice. So I like that. I think when that goes there, that'll be lovely. Now let's just move it because we've got the second generation on here of that. So maybe add that. Oh, that's nice. I think we'll ink up once more. So like I say, this is Warm Breeze and I'm just doing it organically. And I think we'll have a little bit here just peeping on. And maybe just a little bit here. I didn't want to press hard there because I didn't actually want... Sometimes it's nice just to have little bits. And then maybe at the top here, I think... Right, yes, walk away. So I think that one's winter magic, that lovely sentiment stamp. And I think that is enough there. So let's add this. I was thinking, do I, you know what I was thinking there? I'll be honest with you. I was thinking, do I add it now or do I add some white Posca splats first? And then I thought, do you know what, let's add it. Because if I get more white Posca splats, it doesn't matter. But that's what you have to think, isn't it? So again, belt and braces, little bit of double-sided tape and then Malavinia Bippity Boppity Glue. I like both because obviously I'm hoping my journal's going to be around for a long time and some glues and tape can dry out after a long time. So I think if I've got both, then we're covered in all eventualities. So let's add this here bit of wiggle room so we know uh, I love that and let's just move to this side and I'm going to add a bauble in my star so let me have a look I love be kind and I think the colours will go so I mean we've got lots of words I don't know if you've seen these um laugh that's lovely big dreams life is good i mean absolutely perfect but when i saw them i did think as i say it would make a lovely bauble so you could do a row of them couldn't you could make a card very simply and what i thought to make it into the bauble i'm just gonna add a little bit of a line around just because as i say you know i like that squiggly sort of and then we'll add that little cap that you get on the baubles and then we'll have a hanging line here and obviously we'll have a bow the way it's hung. And I've got my lovely bauble inside my star, which I like. And then I am thinking of adding some Christmas words. Now I've got Yuletide here from the original. But there's a bright star. So I've got to have bright star on here, haven't I? So as always, I'll get my scissors and we can have a bit of a... So I like it there. I think I'm going to go there with bright star. And then somewhere I've seen Christmas tree. So I need Christmas tree on my Christmas tree. And that would be nice because that would look... And I'm thinking again, if I take it across, I like it sort of across the design. So I'll just take my black Sharpie and just do a little bit of a... Again, you don't have to do this. I just like to add a little bit of sort of free scribbling. I shouldn't say scribbling, should I? A decorative. <laughs> and then on my original design, I think I'll just add a decorative border. That's what I'm, not, that's what I'm going to call it. It's not scribbling, it's decorative border. And then let's add some lovely Posca splats. And I think I'm happy with that. But as always, I know I can always 
ha go and have my coffee, come back and see what I think. But I love the way this stencil, these sticker stencils have worked in the background. And I love the way that one's just peeping through. And then over to this side. Some round my sticker. I want to still be able to see the words. And I love the way it shows up when we've got some dark bits. That's the thing, your white Posca splats will show up more on the darker inked areas. So we'll have some across the Christmas tree. Now, if I'd wanted, I could have taken the, the treetops here. This design right across the base. That would look lovely. Okay, where did I put the lid? Did you see? Oh, it's under my journal. So how many of you do that, hey? Put the lid under. So that's our, our lovely pages. And I think there's so many ideas there of things that you could then incorporate into your last minute Christmas designs. But also if you're a scrapbooker and quite a few have got in touch and actually said that you're scrapbook type crafters and obviously you're going to be including your photographs after Christmas aren't you after the festive time so this might be an idea for a layout for a page that you could then put your photographs in I mean have you got a photograph of hanging the baubles on the tree I mean this would be a beautiful design for that so I hope you've enjoyed that now just before I go um, Bevan messaged me a couple of weeks ago when we did our Christmas tags here and said she'd got this lovely Christmas night stamp and wasn't sure what to do at the base when she was using it in her designs. So I thought the best way was for me to bring a design on here. So if you just excuse me, so Bevan, this is for you. And what I actually came up with was obviously stam stamping Santa in the sky using our moon mask, but also using the mask we've just used along the base and actually doing the design similar to how we did this but I've used dark denim and I've come straight in with my st small stencil brush and the dark denim and for me it gives a lovely base for Santa then to almost be flying over and again this if you look if you put that on a dark background so we could even have that there look instead so that's just one idea you could also stamp trees but I think and some of the little houses, I think rooftops and trees underneath would be lovely. So I hope that answers your question, Bevan. And thank you very much for putting that question as a comment. It's so lovely to hear from you. So I'm going to leave you with those journal pages. And as always, in the description, there's a list of all the products I've used. We always put that and we link them to the Lavinia website. So if there's ever anything you need to know, just pop down and have a look. The information will be there. And if there's any stamps you want me to use again, just pop it in the comments. Any questions, just do like Bev Ann did and ask. So you take care. Be kind to each other. I'll see you all again soon. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.